I don't get why there's so much hype behind Cyberpunk. Good question. Let me answer. Cyberpunk is the newest game from CD Projekt Red. Okay. Now, CD Projekt Red has made one of the single greatest RPGs of all time, personally my favorite, which is a game called The Witcher 3. Now, it's an exception, except it started off as like a medium indie company um, that ended up becoming a triple A company over time. Uh, they really started to develop this when they ended up developing a game called The Witcher 2, uh, which kind of like pushed them into it. The Witcher 2 was a pretty solid game. It was a great RPG, but it wasn't nearly as good as what The Witcher 3 was. Now... The reason that a lot of people are really hyped about Cyberpunk is it's also based off of a, uh, what, 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 what's the word, guys? Pen and paper RPG game, right? Because uh, they kind of like look at other IPs and then they end up utilizing them. In this case, it's working very heavily with the creator of the pen and paper game. Um, and with the in-depth complexities of the RPG systems that they have, like Dungeons & Dragons. Yes, like Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, except for not all, you know, pen and paper games are the same, but... Very much D&D-esque. It used a different rule set. It was its own kind of thing. But they're using essentially that same concept and establishing off of the previously existing lore of the Cyberpunk pen and paper game. Um, so it's it's really interesting that they went with an IP. Not to mention, any futuristic kind of game is always pretty cool. But anything that CG Project Red develops, I pretty much buy. Um, because they're an incredibly, incredibly competent company. that I just love their products. So... The reason it's got so much hype behind it is not only does it look like it's an immensely vast RPG with an incredibly large open world, lots of different decisions, lots of different choices that are emphasized by whatever you do, um, but they've gone very, very much into like the hype scaling of this kind of stuff too, uh, with City, with City Project Red, and well, yeah, uh, you know how they're doing Cyberpunk. I'm, I'm explaining Cyberpunk and why there's hype. Um, but CD Project Red is best. Yeah, but I mean, they've also done like a lot of hype reels, they've done lots of trailers, they've done lots of explanations of mechanics and systems that are going to be in the game, like we've actually watched all three. To me, it seems like futuristic GTA. Yes, except imagine GTA has mechanics that are in-depth. Um, Alright, so GTA, when it comes down to it, is pretty simple. All right. There is no real true gun stats unless you're data mining, there is no minning and maxing, uh, there is no real RPG stats... Uh, with the exception of, like, exercise and things like that to get those bars up for the three boys, right? Uh, no, no, there's no guess. GTA is not an RPG. Uh, the closest one to an RPG was San Andreas. Yeah. Um, th this is, this is an RPG, so it's going to be tons more in the way of mechanics. Anyway, there's my rant. Akita, how you doing, buddy? Remy, where's your chicken nuggies? I don't know, where are your chicken nuggies? Nice work wrecking the guards. Who are you guys? This woman doesn't look like the other slaves in the mine. She has tattoos, scars, and shoddy implants of scar collector. She might be the missing singer. <clears throat> We're rescuers. Let's leave it at that. Suit yourself. Thanks. Are you D Sharp? That's me. Used to call myself D Sharp Singer. Now, well, I guess I'm D Sharp Mine. Chat, can I shoot her? Chat, can I shoot her? She's not D sharp. She's F flat. Yes, yes. Okay, good. I'm not going to, but uh, yeah. that's a joke. Uh, Remy, just imagine. Imagine this is a big letdown, or if it was overhyped. It's not. Most amusing, I'm sure. Yeah. Overhyped. Possibly. Overhyped, but not. But maybe, maybe, but, but here's not. the thing. Just imagine. No, no. Because here's the thing, guys. If anything, if I'm going to be real, I think that they're underselling some of the features with Cyberpunk. I, I think that get, some people could say the game is overhyped, but I personally, I don't think it is. No. Yeah. I was going to say. Could, they, could have hyped, they could have a lot more hyped up by doing a few key things and they haven't done. Yeah. And I, I was going to say, they are setting our expectations unbelievably dialed in like that that's one of the best parts about why they've been doing like these cyberpunk what are they called the nightwire uh the the, yeah the nightwires is that they are setting our expectations not to over not to under but to exact um and i, I hope that's like dialing down the hype a little bit but also dialing it up a little bit more because we're getting more information but they're, they're like keying it in 
So, question. With your last watch through of Nightwire, do you know which, uh, which, uh, route you're going down first? Yeah, I mean, there, there's no gangs that you can join. So... It, it seems well, like... I'm saying out of the starting three, are you going street, no matter... There was another one after that. Or, uh, corpo. We're going Corpo, our first run. Okay. We're going Corpo, probably more like... Um, aiming specifically on... Uh, on, like, automatic weapons. Oh, okay. I just want to not care about the game, so I won't be blown away when you play it. What is Corpo again? They're corporate... That's the corporate side. We're, we're going to be... Our first run in Cyberpunk is probably going to be an evil run. I, I love how me and you are going complete opposite ends. Because I am I know for a fact I'm going Nomad with this. I'm going Nomad with a... With an emphasis on uh, assassinations and hacking. Yeah. Our, our first... <laughs> it's going to be so interesting to see it play out differently too, guys. Because I'm planning on doing more than one. We're planning on doing a 48-hour stream of Cyberpunk the first day it launches. So that'll be that'll <laughs> be a luck. thing. I'm gonna die, um, but it's it's gonna be really interesting. I'm I'm excited for it, guys. I'm really excited for it. I'm excited for the next couple of weeks, dude. They're gonna be so good. Okay, so starting off, like, all right. So here here's the game schedule because we haven't really gotten to talk about this. I keep mentioning it, but we haven't really talked about it, right? All right. So next week's gonna be really interesting. Uh, we're gonna be playing a lot of No Man's Sky because three point just came out. Oh yeah, 3.0 just released. And it looks incredible, apparently, um, from what I've been hearing. Uh, we're going to be doing some collabs with Trev, which is probably a good point to mention. Uh, and this will be all be in the schedule, but here's, here's what we're looking at, right? So, on the 28th, so Monday. Yeah, Monday. We're going to be playing No Man's Sky with Trev. Tuesday, we're going to be checking out the new Conan expansion for like a day with Trev. 30th, we're going to be playing uh, Phasmopho... I can't say it. Phasmophobia. It's a ghost hunting game. It's a ghost hunting game. Uh, the first is going to be kind of a chill day. Probably more No Man's Sky. Uh, Friday is going to be Star Wars Squadron for the entire day. Uh, good time to also mention there's going to be no multiplayer mode this week or next week. Uh, next week is also anniversary. So that's the thing with more and more. So that's the thing. Uh, Saturday is going to be likely more squadrons. Sunday going to be more squadrons. Monday, No Man's Sky and probably squadrons. So get ready for lights, lots of flight. Tuesday, the channel is getting taken over by Baldur's Gate. So that's the 6th. 7th, Baldur's Gate. 8th, Baldur's Gate. 9th, <laughs> Baldur's Gate. <laughs> you might get the idea from there. Um, and then we're going to also be hitting the ground absolutely big time running. Uh, throughout that entire month with playing in, in, like, mixing in a whole bunch of horror games. Uh, the top of the list from what it looked like was Bendy and the Ink Machine. Um, oh god, there was a lot of other games, though. You guys, uh, you we, we have lots. By the way. Uh, yeah, Spookies. Uh, we're gonna return to the Visage. We're gonna play some more FNAF. One day we're gonna end up doing the Remy Gets His Mouth duct tape thing again. We're gonna be playing some more SCP. SCP The Stairwell. And I haven't gotten to look at a whole bunch more of those. Static Speaks My Name. So we're gonna have a lot of games that we're doing um, like minus streams of indie horror games. If we wanna if you wanna add on there it's it's more a map but the uh, remember the game that we played the cleanup game Santa's Workshop during Christmas they have a Halloween map too. But is it actually scary? Not really. Yeah, no, I don't want to play it. I actually want to play horror games. Because we're, we're returning to Remy's original form, chat. Um, that said, I'm going to be mixing Baldur's Gate and other games with the spooks. So those of you that don't enjoy horror games, which it seems pretty interesting. I'd, I'd say our audience is like That would be the perfect semi -split. to do your, uh, duct tape, too. Your yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're getting VR duct tape out of the way, so I'm going to have to pull out my VR stuff again. Woo. Um... <laughs> Because we're going to well, have a stream that we duct tape my mouth shut with I, FNAF. Gonna we're going to play a lot of FNAF. I was going to say that's going to be good for me because I've been wanting to get in the VR again. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's the plan for the next few weeks. So, needless to say, it's intensive. And once November hits, we are... <laughs> we, are we are not going to stop running. Uh, oh, and all of this is leading up to the 27th, right? Which is when WoW's new expansion drops. Uh, which we're going to be playing for like a few weeks. Uh, then <laughs> November 10th drops, or sorry, November 12th drops. We're going to have a PS5. We're going to blast through Miles Morales. We're going to start Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm going to be real. 
I don't have any expectations on how long that's going to last. We'll see. Uh, Miles Morales is going to be the focus. I can tell you how long uh, it's going to last. Ball? Yeah. It's going to last up till Cyberpunk. Oh, well, that... Okay, fair. <laughs> uh, and then Cyberpunk comes out on the... What is that? The uh, 19th? I think it's like the 19th or the 21st. It's one of those two. I think it's the 19th, though. Yeah. And I cannot fucking wait. So, the point being, chat, the next... Two months is gonna be nuts. Yeah. Anyway, so there's the mild rundown of everything. So, so one more side note. How'd you like that bang guy uh, hit in your fridge? Which one was it? The sweet tea. The sweet tea was pretty good. I, I br So there was another bang I tried, guys, because I'm waiting to get some more rays. Um, speaking of which, raising with Remy on repsports.com. Get 50% off. Um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> sales pitch side. Josh, don't walk away. Um, there's there's a drink flavor, right? That's like black cherry bang. Don't ever buy that. No. That's all I got. That was the worst thing I've ever tried in my life. Honor Arnold Palmer. Not joking, you. Chat. I'm not dying. I'm not allowed to have this. No, I'm taking that Battle one Dad. You. What's up, friend? How you doing? Uh, yeah, I'd imagine you can guess all the plot twists. We, we guessed the big plot twist for the first episode, Big Plot. Um, yeah, I need to get with Aiden, and we need to finish that series, too. Uh, but that's the thing, guys. Point is, we're really busy. Um, don't bother. I'm going to bother. We don't leave things unfinished. Uh, for the most part, I saw the look. For the most part, all right. I'm talking about unfinished. I'm gonna go finish uh, my prop design that I'm making now. Bye. Um. Yeah. So anyway, that's that's the goal. So wasteland three. We're gonna we're gonna finish this out. All right. Anyway, get back to video game. <clears throat> we heard a steel trap is out. Had it out for you. Is that how you ended up here? Fucking fuck. Good phrase. There I was minding my own business. In the company store, singing the hits and slinging the schlitz, when he decides he doesn't like one of my songs and kidnaps me. He wants me to work digging for tech in this death trap hellhole. Did you know that uh, Scar Collectors looked for you for weeks after you disappeared and swore vengeance on your kidnapper? The guards here thought that was hilarious. Tell me how the boys had all gone hunting for me. Oof. They'd say, if only they knew Steel Trap hid you right under their noses, they'd carve him up in a hot second. And I thought, well, someday I'm going to tell them. So if you were planning to fuck over Steel Trap, would you want it? damn right I would. That motherfucker has it coming. But I got another score to settle first. If you don't mind. I mind. As long as you help us with Steel Trap. Count on. First, I gotta pay a visit to the company store. Time to take back what's mine. Get these airlock doors open so I can get out of here. I'm too broken to scrape through the whole goddamn mine. So many items, Chet. Company store. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Uh, where is the company store? It's over here. There you are. Listen, I thought I was up for helping you fight Cutter, but turns out slaving nonstop in steel traps mine is kind of taking it out of me. <sighs> As weak as a prairie dog. If you want my help, maybe you could take her out first. What? Uh, consider doing any ideas for turning the scar co collectors against Steel Trap? Now that you mention it, yeah. I do have an idea. I didn't believe what the guards told me about the boys missing me and swearing Killed your, to no. kill whoever took me. Now that you told me the same thing. Well, I've been thinking about making a play for Steel Trap Spot even before, but 
When I heard the guards talking, I thought, if I ever get out of there, I might just have the support to give it a try. Maybe it's time to find out. Yes, it is. We're ready. Sure. After you take care of Cutterthroat, right? Are you ready for that? Let's do it. Ugh, thanks. You rock. Ugh. I'll step in when the shooting stops. Now. Go fuck her up. Okay. See, we're closed. Oh boy, did you pick the wrong door to walk through? This is a private club, Lemos. Scar collectors only. Everybody else gets the axe. Hey, boys, 86 this trash. Yeah, saw that one coming. Wow. Wow. Chat, defend the Russian bot. Chat, defend the Russian bot. All right. First things first, chat. Wow. Let down. Can you hear me? Thank you. Hold on, get Remy's ass up. Thanks. Dude. Alright, your range actually is the worst. I literally cannot sh tell. There we go. <sighs> Welcome to the right side. Bunkering down. Nice. 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 Jesus, chat. This is bad. <gasps> Robo! Don't fuck him up. First of all, fuck you in particular.
Okay. Perfect. And Doe's going to destroy the turret. And it's going to be all over. Get him, Doe. Get him. OP. Easy AF, chat. Talk about not clean, even remotely. That was really messy. I'm very unhappy with everything I just saw. Uh, excuse me? We have 64 of these packs! Stop unequipping them! Okay. Hold on, Josh, hold up. Uh, more awareness. Skills. Nope. What's up, Elliot? How you doing, bud? Long time I see. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Grenade box. F5, by the way. It's worth the save. And lockpick. Hey, thank you for the prop, friend. So appreciate it. Uh, fuck. I don't even think we could equip that, though. Yeah, big time cannot. Big time cannot. Well. Field strip! Alright. Let's get all this gone. What's this? 27 armor. With a melee damage bonus. Hello, care. There you go. Alright. Uh... Mine. What about Josh? What about Josh at this? Yeah. Two points. That's pretty good. Let's also put that over his face. I hate that mask. It was a good bit for like two seconds. Guess his birthday's right around the corner. Uh probably yours. That that's my guess. Uh, let's shut her up. But now for a bigger Oops. regime change. It's time to get on the horn and rally the troops. Steel traps going down. Dude, nice. Star collectors, D sharp is back from the dead and better than ever. Now, I've been hearing old Tin Teeth told you I ran away. Bullshit. Goddamn dry gulched me. And you know where I've been all this time? Slavin in his hellhole tech mine. Anyhow, I heard y'all missed me, so I'm gonna throw y'all a party in the camp, but I need you to help me make the place festive first. That's right, scar collectors. When I get there, I wanna see that coward steel trap's head on a plate. Holy shit, it's D. I that asshole was lying about her leaving. Steel Trap is gonna pay for this shit. We want D! We want D! You bitch! Who the hell let you out? I'm gonna bury you this time! Ransom, give me my big gun! No, the big one! <laughs> Worked out pretty well for us. All things considered. Huh. You know, the more I look at this, the more I realize I'm just gonna make it luck based. Okay. Uh hard ass, yep. I don't think we get any perks from being a hard ass though. Okay, my boy leveled up. Awareness point, please. Uh, armor modding, yes. And perks. Armor modding, we don't get a point until 10. 
So we'll give him another quick slot. We're never going to use. Perfect. Wait, what? Oh, for Remy. Awkward. Yeah, let's boost his con. Dude dies in like two seconds. I should put crit resistance on because we take 100% when it comes to crits. Mm. Hold on. Hold on. Let's talk to D really quick. Because I'm sure she's going to tell us where to meet her. I guess not. Okay. Awkward. Alright. Boop. Unless this is the way. No, because they had the big, like, battle truck thing in the middle. Arena battle truck? Battle truck arena. That one. In, like, the center so, that's a thing. Alright. Battle truck arena. Arena of the battle trucks. Dang. Canary won't sing another fucking note. Not a chance, Steel Trap, you piece of shit. You don't deserve to call yourself a star collector. <laughs> well, hello, loot. Hey chat, I'm upset his bigger gun isn't in here. Just know that bothers me. Okay. So let's see here, out of the gangs we have left, we have the Payasos, um, the God Sky Kite Boys. I feel like I made a missing one. Okay, where is... I don't see Cyber Chicken. Where'd all the PSs go? There's a whole bunch here. How fast do you guys think I can run through here? I'm curious. Not fast enough is the actual answer to that question. <gasps> Chat, I shot Doe. Let's not talk about it. Um. Huh. Are you serious right now? <sighs> Goodbye, entire group of friends. Headpads, what's up, Cryptox? How you doing, bud? Did the doe did the doe just kill the bison? The doe killed the bison. Pog chat. As it should be. Doe is OP. No 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 no.
Good times. Use item on self. Dang, dude. Use item on self. I mean, I like getting one shot as much as the next guy. Uh, but I don't like getting one shot. So, you know, there's that answer. Stop shooting squad members. Uh, you know, out of that whole thing, I actually didn't shoot any squad members. Weirdly enough. Bison skull ornament. Do the Bielsos not have an actual, like, section in the town? Do they not have a section in Yuma? Weird. 